This is the first volume of the Rice Thresher. The students had the idea for the Thresher right away, but it took until 1916 to actually get it, uh, get it up and going. And even then, it was, uh, they started in the second semester of the school year. So the first edition came out on January 15th, 1916. One of the interesting things about this is how much a product of the students it really was. So we've been a student-led, student-run paper for a little more than 96 years now, and that, that's something that really hasn't changed since the very beginning. Started out with a very small staff even for back then. We continue to be a very small staff uh, with weekly deadlines and uh, that we, we do have an advisor we can go to, but at the end of the day, it's the students that are, are running the paper and something that I think is very exemplary of the, of the Rice spirit. The first editors were brother and sister team, Elizabeth and Tiny Kalb. Tiny Kalb actually was not tiny. He was a huge guy. He was uh, Rice's first football star, as well as being the editor of The Thresher. And um, that gives you some kind of idea of what a small place this really was. For a small school, known journalism program, for people to come work here, I mean, they're really, uh, they're not in it for the credit hours, not in it for anything like that. Can you click down maybe? Uh, the students have felt that it's important to have a place where they can have a voice on campus. If anything, uh, the look of the paper has changed significantly. There's, uh, the original paper was not in color uh, like we have today. Um, there are a lot of very small changes, but I think one of the most noticeable changes, one of the longest lasting changes, and in certainly one of our biggest traditions is the back page. The back page uh, is a long-running tradition of the final page of the Thresher each week, which is uh, filled with satirical content. It's very representative of Rice, I think, and I think that's why it's been able to stick around for so long and why it's been so successful and popular with students. We often hear that, uh, and I've seen it with my own eyes, uh, students pick up the paper and the first thing they'll do is they'll turn it around and look at the back page and then they'll turn it around and look at the news for the day. And that's just, uh, I think, because of the quirkiness of the back page, because of, uh, you know, it represents the sort of Rice uh, not conforming to everybody else. It's really um, something that's been very representative of Rice and why I think it continues to be um, popular with a lot of students.